I think uh, people do underestimate. I think you have to look at the record overall. They're five and three. They're leading their division, um, and they're a very talented offensive football team. Um, so again, we have another challenge. Obviously, off or defensively, last week we um, played played well early and let them uh, creep back into the game. Um, and obviously, we gave up too many passing yards. I thought we played decent against the run, but. Um, with with uh, with Gurley, but Joe Mixon this week is obviously another offensive threat that we have to take into account. You watch him on film; he is arguably one of the best backs in the NFL right now. Um, he's quick twitch; he can make all the cuts, make all the make all the. I mean, he he reads defense as well. So we're gonna have our hands full with him. AJ, we've seen it in practice, but how critical is it to make a team one dimensional? To be able to slow down that one area and make them, you know, pass heavy, you know, each and every game. It's 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 very critical. Obviously, uh, stopping the run is one of our top uh, keys every single week, or one of our keys to victory. But and that doesn't change this week. Uh, obviously, making a team one dimensional helps, but at the same time, our our pass defense hasn't been good enough. We've been giving up too many yards, too many. Um, we only gave up one deep ball, I think, last week. Um, had another rubber out that ended up scoring for a touchdown. But um, defensively, I think uh, the passing game, like you said, Andy Dalton, uh, he's still a, a very good quarterback, and he could take advantage of us if, if we don't shore up the back end. Do they change somewhat without A.J. Green? Um, I, still think, I still think they have enough depth. Um, I know they lost Eifert earlier in the season. I, I haven't watched... Um, a ton of film yet, and I'm, I'm going to continue to dive in into, into them today. But I still know they have speechers on the outside, and um, I'm blanking on his name right now. But their slot receiver is still very talented in space. He's he's, he's uh, twitchy. And he gets mismatch, mismatches on on backers often. So um, again, one of those things throughout the week, we're going to see see what they look like and adjust, and um, hopefully uh, coaches will put together a great plan for us this week. I know you guys think you have a pretty special team right now. Yep. When management goes out and gets Eli Apple and then gets Des Bryant, what does that say to the locker room? That kind of management has your back, kind of thing, but they also believe. Well, I, th I think we all believe um, that we could be a great team. It's still early in the season, um, and we're taking it week by week. Obviously, this is the most important game because it's the next one on our schedule. But um, to see them go out and, and get some pieces and, and get some talented players, especially with Eli and, and Dez coming in now, um, just adding weapons helps any team. And I think that's going to help our receiver core, help our offense. And then obviously Eli has come in and helped our defense right away too. So um, anytime they do that, I mean, it, it's great for us as a team and obviously uh, uh, gets us fired up, and uh, but we're ready to go back to work and obviously focus on this game first.